Welcome back. It's time for coins. Hello. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, an easy and fun way to get into collecting coins. Now I do have a cold, so just kind of bear with me with that. Uh, my voice might be a little different. But a really cool way is to, if you go to the store, you can go to Hobby Lobby or to a store and you can pick up these little, or a coin shop, pick up these little uh, albums and they have a spot for these for your coins to go like right in here and it has the the date uh, the mint mark and how many were uh, were minted of that particular coin of that year and mint so uh, so yeah it's kind of a really cool fun way to do it you see this one's uh, 1909 pe pennies, so it's really hard to find. I did find a, a 19, 19 penny uh, corn roll hunting once uh, a couple of months ago. But yeah, so it's a, it's a fun, fun hobby, corn roll hunting, or just taking stuff in your change and filling these albums with. And I have a, this one's a little bit more full. I have a bunch of wheat pennies, and I found a lot of. Really cool. Uh, some old pennies are like, still pretty, uh, pretty shiny. So yeah, and it's also nice that they have uh, gives you a little bit of a history of e of the type of pennies you're looking at or your coins that you're looking at right there. And the one thing I do caution you about is if you do put coins in here, make sure that they aren't like ones you want to like keep pristine because um, they uh, these boards do allow toning to happen. So some toning is great, some toning is not so great. But yeah, but these are just fun to uh, to go through and and uh, <clears throat> collect your collect coins. These are your half half cents right there you see the 1993p only 15,000 minted haven't found that one yet so I still have a lot of ways to go on my own uh, collecting coins and uh, I, I hope to uh, do some coin roll, more coin roll hunting and maybe I might start with new albums for that possibly I'll try to finish so these ones right here are silver they're 40% ones. I do have the, the, this 1964s, but they're nice ones I have in capsules. So, yeah, just a lot of fun. They had the Bicentennial uh, 50 cent piece. Those, those are awesome. I like collecting those. And uh, the quarters, 1965 to 87. Uh, 65 was the, was the first year they did the, the clad ironclad uh, quarters instead of doing the silver. They also have the bicentennials in this one. And then we have the Eisenhower and Susan B. Anthony. Now Susan B. Anthony is one of my favorite favorite coins, even though they had uh, the, a lot of people didn't care for them because it looked a lot like quarters. And so they only lasted in circulation for two years. And then the 1981, I think they, they was just for the coin set and then they also brought it back in 1999 so they're kind of um, kind of fun to to get and there they are right there you can see the, the difference in the size of the the dollars from the old ones so yeah have a whole tube of, of those so yeah it's definitely a lot of, a lot of fun uh, checking them out and uh, put them together. So uh, I, I do ha did find some uh, Lincoln scent that I would like to put in. Like the, the wheat pennies have some. This one I think I should use some one time already. And I have that one. And so I have like four four wheat pennies. And then I also have this uh, two thousand two thousand nine. 
penny. What's cool about the 2009, they're, they're low mintages and there's four different designs and so they have Abraham Lincoln celebrating the 200th birthday of Abraham Lincoln. Very, very cool. So yeah, that's, uh, let's check this out and put these guys in, in here. And it looks like, oh yeah, this one, I couldn't find the date on this one. I'll have to hold that on the side. Wheat Penny. It looks like a, uh, a 1956 Denver. So that one's going to go into this album here. And hopefully I don't have this one. 54, 55. Oh, look at that. Oh, I do have that one. So that one will go into my, into my tube of Wheat Pennies. And this one is a 1945S, San Francisco, 1945. We'll go over here, 45S, and I have that one also. And final one, 1946 Denver. And that one I just had. Well, I have a 1946, yeah, 1946 Denver, right there. So that's a that's a new one for the book. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, so it's a lot of fun, especially finding wheat pennies. Uh, there, you can still find them in your change and and collect them. And this is a great way to to show show them off and you know, stuff, so especially when you get a wheat penny that is a. That is still shiny, which I don't have any in the album, but I actually do have a few. I put them in capsules just to keep them looking nice. And that one's been plated. Yeah. So yeah. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Stay stay tuned for more um, coin videos. Uh, please like, share, subscribe to the, my channel. Uh, and uh, I will work on doing some coin roll hunting. I'll probably start out with pennies and then move on to other ones. So yeah, just uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.